Hello everybody, Shannon O'Flaherty here and welcome to Heart Centered Purpose. I'm so happy that you're in my group and I thought that I would just take this opportunity to introduce you to the other admin in the group, my beautiful son, Forrest Hamilton. Hello everybody. <laughs> and Forrest is going to help me with my business. He's taking over the technical side of things because as you all know that's that's not my real strong point <laughs> and uh, Forrest has been laughing at, at just how not strong that point is with me lately today anyway and um, he's also eventually going to be adding the new members into the group so when he's the person doing that Hi Leslie, thank you for joining us. When he's the person doing that, he's going. It will say um, new members added on behalf of Shannon by Forrest, so that you can know that he's the one that's actually added you. And um, lucky for me, but more lucky for him, he's had his first spiritual awakening. I guess you've stepped guess. onto your yeah. spiritual path. And um, that's always a very exciting time. I know that I just did a video about that yesterday for all of you. And, and so as, as his mother, of course, I'm, I'm thrilled because you never know if that's going to happen with your kids. I'm hoping and praying. <laughs> well, we, we wondered you know, <laughs> what was going to happen. And um, so in... In the future, well, next May actually, May 10th to 30th, I'm starting up my trips to Peru again. I used to take people every year to Peru. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Leslie Evans. Uh, Leslie Harvey was the first one, Leslie Evans. And um, so Forrest is also going to help me lead those trips to Peru. And um, as you, you got to get your Spanish back up, don't you? Yeah, it's... Uh, it's Drops for Cliff quite dramatically since I was 16. But, well, when you need to eat yeah. to, you know, speak to eat. Yeah, well, I remember, I remember a time when uh, yeah, we went to Peru and, well, when I was 16, didn't we? And you were telling this lovely Peruvian lady in this textile shop all about me and she didn't think I could understand the words she was saying. It was all, it was all nice stuff, thankfully. But <laughs> as I, thought, I said to my mum, I was like, you know, I can understand every word you're saying about me. Um, yeah, and I since then, it's... Talk about him in front of him. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a, little bit bad, a little bit worse than it used to be, but we'll, uh, we'll work well, on that. So, as you all may or may not know, hi Gina, uh, he, I want to build an orphanage in Peru, and Forrest really wants to do that with me, because most of us know that if you're just working for money, the way that you're earning your money is probably not going to be very satisfying and fulfilling. And, um, well, you really, you want to give back and make a difference. Yeah, I think that's one of the biggest shifts that I've had in the last three months mm -hmm. since we've kind of, um, you know, been doing that work together and I've had that awakening, as it were. Um, and I think, yeah, that's the kind of biggest shift that I've had in my realization in terms of my path and what I want to kind of get out of life and, that is by you know helping people and uh, really making a difference and uh, the the orphanage project it's yeah I mean it's fantastic it, probably it uh, I'm only going to buy him a one way ticket and leave him there and let him <laughs> yeah. kind of run that on the Peruvian side of things worst places to be stuck so. <laughs> worst places and um, so let's just talk about that shift so. Um, Last year, um, Forrest is you're just you're just 27 now, aren't you? Just, just 27. And this, this is my oldest son. My my other baby is traveling the world now. Has just started a travel blog. But before, um, so last year, basically, do you mind if I share the no, briefly? Ahead. So we had a Skype call. Do you mind if I? No, share no, it's, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> okay, we had nothing's private now. Right now. <laughs> no, no. So we had a, a Skype call one morning, and um, well, you were quite in a bad way, weren't you? Yeah. I think you fallen down some steps the night before in a drunken state, and of course, I I was shocked to see this. I'm like, what What are you doing? And you got quite upset, and suddenly it all came out. You know, why did you leave Dad? And I thought, oh man. 
where is my therapist hat? Quick, quick, I wasn't ready for this one. And so we had a long conversation and um, he said, you know, I'm, I'm that, ready. Yeah. yeah, that that healing I was never going to ask for. Well, I'm asking for it. And I was like, yes. So, I'll yeah, well, I mean, I think that was like, that was the day it all kind of changed. Really. I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> like, you reached kind of your old, lowest. Yeah, yeah I think it was like, like, you know, like drinking quite a lot. You know, not like 20 ridiculous oh well, no you were still holding down a job yeah but you know, but, you know it wasn't it wasn't good and um and that kind of day shifted in terms of the fact that you know i wanted to change and i think uh, you know, our relationship we've always been you know before we got on well you know, you know had any problems yeah. but um you know you know it's, we wouldn't talk all the time you know we probably didn't share as i certainly didn't share as much as you know what was going on in my life you know so you know, seeing girls or whatever it might be um whereas now we you know we talk every day on, on, on the phone and we share absolutely everything um yeah. and that's that's kind of down to that that shift on that day and obviously i think about a week afterwards i came down south didn't i and um for, we did five, it. for five hours yeah we did a big big long session <laughs> went for a lot of, a lot of stuff um there was a lot of you know, it was something that was quite it was quite kind of difficult for both of us in, in some sense but you know obviously really um we got a lot of stuff out there and I think for me the biggest thing was you know forgiveness and um, I learned how to do that <laughs> and um, yeah I, I personally had a big shift from that day in, in all aspects of my life um, and then even more recently you know I had, had a, a much bigger shift in that stuff. yeah I mean um, like I keep telling everybody it's it's baby steps so yeah. you know most people don't usually have a big shift or an awakening until they hit bottom, you know, you have to hit your kind of lowest point and then you realize, wow, something really has to change. I don't want to keep living my life this way because I'm unhappy. So then you go get healing or you turn to religion or whatever it is that you go to for help. Luckily, Forrest came to see me. Actually, first, I think you went to your dad, didn't you? Um, I can't remember what, exactly what it but I remember I, I took that out for Father's Day. And we went for like a big walk and I kind of asked him a few like questions or something. But I think that was after we had that session. Oh, I, yeah. I thought it was beforehand. Yeah. But, um, you know, I always talk about Bobby Baby and he definitely supported Forrest in coming to see me too. And then really after that healing session, and it's it's very interesting if any of you are healers to work with your kids because – you know, guess what? They get your wound. They get their wounding from us, the parents. This is why I'm always saying you have to forgive your parents. You absolutely have to forgive your parents, not just because I'm a parent, but because I had parents too. And so um, we come from our parents. The wound from our parents, and so for needed to process that, but I couldn't force that because everybody in their own time when they're ready. But it has. Yeah, I, I think what well, you mentioned, obviously, you're forcing it. It's, I would have, if you kind of come to me and said, I probably would have rejected it, or I, you know, I, I would have, because I wasn't ready for that, I would have said, you know, don't worry about it. You know, we don't have a problem, blah, blah, blah. You know, I love you, all that. And, you know, of course, I, <laughs> I've always loved my mum. But, you know, there was there was always that underlying thing, which I, it wasn't a conscious thing, but it was a completely subconscious sort of thing was just kind of always a bit of a barrier, mm -hmm. I guess, between us. And since since we we well, we did that work, that's evaporated, and well, we're close than we've ever been. Our yeah. relationship's better than it has, it's ever been. We speak every day, we're going to go into business together, like, you know, we, um, yeah, I mean, we're fantastic, and that's all down to the, the work that we've yeah. well, really, done with me. Like, it's, well, you know, it's been. I do with you, but you do the work. Yeah, I mean, well, yeah. you're the and one that has to go and then apply all of these things. And, that, and that's an ongoing thing, and that's probably that, that like, certainly the hardest thing for me because it's such a big shift. It's kind of, remembering to kind of you know do all the things you need to do to keep that, mm -hmm. that positive mindset and because he's my yeah. son of course i want to um barrel him over with all sorts of information and stuff but i'm also drip drip feeding yeah. it to you a little bit aren't i so, saying yeah, you know <laughs> i'm not too pushy i give you a book yeah. and say have a read at this yeah and, i mean it's, it's a lot to take in a lot, a a lot. of the time um, but yeah, I mean, some it's, you know, it's, it's incredibly interesting, and you know, when you kind of go through all the, you know, especially like the kind of the past life stuff, and you know, also it's like 
God, like, well, of course, it makes so much sense. And um, yeah, it all kind of resonates once you kind of put have that mindset to kind of take it all in. And I think that's the most important thing early on. Because if you don't have that mindset to take it all in, it, it won't kind of resonate as strongly as it should. And I think um, once you've kind of got to that point and you're kind of really wanting to work on it and embrace that positive change in your life then it, it, it makes a huge difference mm -hmm. it really sure. does and um the other wonderful thing is that Forrest is is a wonderful businessman turns out <laughs> which is excellent um we've had our astrological chart done together by the wonderful Rania, who i advertised in the group earlier and she overlaid our charts together which was very cool to find out and she said it's quite a unique business partnership because um i don't know what this means so those of you who are into astrology you might think oh wow this is so cool so <laughs> when i had him i was coming up to my first saturn return and now he's coming up to his first saturn return and i'm coming up to my second and so our charts are kind of like running in parallel and she said it's a very unusual business partnership to have the the son basically run the the business because i have this vision <laughs> i have this vision of us it came to me i think in a dream or in those early hours of the morning i woke up and i i could see us standing on the building site of the orphanage in peru construction going on and Forrest was somewhere behind me in this vision and one of the Peruvian colleagues came up to me you know in Spanish trying to talk to me about about money and I just looked at him and said hablas con el jefe which means to talk with the boss and I pointed back to Forrest and I woke up and I thought oh yeah that's really cool i really like somebody to handle all the aspects of this that i find challenging to handle because that's you know i want to just do the healing part and and the part that i'm good at and forrest is really good at business he's been in recruitment so as our business grows he can do that too you're very good with money. I think you're the most responsible person in the whole family, I, actually. I, 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 I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. And um, so uh, what do we have coming up in the next couple of weeks? Uh, uh, so, yes. Next right. Week, I'm, I'm giving you uh, uh, three, three easy tips um, how to change, how to clear your mental monkey chatter. Uh, that's a, a free program that you'll be able to sign up for and get some really cool tips and tools with which you can use and work with every day. And that's going to be happening in the in, next yeah, couple of weeks. In the, in the next, yeah, in the, hopefully next week. Yeah. Um, yeah, working through some technological stuff. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're getting there. Yeah, we've had a, a long business meeting today. So seeing how that's going to play out. So that's quite exciting coming yeah. up. Yeah. And um, yeah, then if, if there's any technical hitches, you can just talk to the boss. <laughs> and yeah, well, I mean, hopefully I'll, I'll be seeing, uh, I'll, you'll be seeing plenty more of me and, and I'll be, uh, a bit more active um, in the group in, in, in the coming months um, and, and yeah certainly as, as time goes by uh, much more much more active so yeah and also I'd like to put you up for you know if any of you have um, or if any of you are young people and you're just having your first spiritual awakening but you want to speak to somebody more in your own age range or about like how is it for you like with your friends because we talked we talked yeah. you want to just talk about that <laughs> yeah well I mean it? absolutely I mean I like you know before like, last year or so I've you know really quite uh, like, generally quite cynical or you know whatever one of the words you might use and I kind of wasn't really kind of awake enough to kind of see all that and, and most of my friends you know you know, just living like living in the North UK, they're pretty normal and um, you know, pretty standard kind of young people who you know, generally 
kind of aren't, don't kind of get. Take the piss out of each other. Yeah, yeah you know, it's like, you know, in yeah. England if we don't say yeah, that in the States. Take the piss out of each other. Um, and, yeah. Poke, poke fun at it sort of sarcastic yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, I think especially if you're a lad, you know, like, yeah. lads don't take the piss out of each other. It's, it's quite difficult. And, um, yeah, it's a difficult transition to kind of have that one aspect and, and kind of marry that with, your aspect and still you know being friends with your friends and having the, those interests and um i think that transition is certainly for me at the moment one of the, uh one of the, the the difficult thing all that things i'm kind of working out a little bit in terms of you know having that positive kind of change of mindset and you know trying not to take piss out of my friends <laughs> say, or when they're taking piss out of me he's gonna like let it slide a little bit and just say yeah. it's fine you know it's, you do what you do what you gotta do yeah, um, practicing the new vibration. Yeah, it is yeah. a practice, and when you have exactly. an old, an old way of being, it's, especially when yeah. your friends are involved, and then you're shifting when maybe your friends aren't shifting with you. Yeah, and it's and, you can't resent them for that. No, of course it's, not. And, it, and it's kind of having that thinking. Yeah, like you said, practicing that mindset. And it's a daily thing, and it's it is difficult. So yeah, I'd be more than happy to speak to anyone who maybe you know hasn't had that, that kind of spiritual background hasn't always been a, a spiritual person or you know whatever it might be and um yeah yes. more than happy to just be a few of these that. concepts have been really quite yeah quite new for you I yeah mean, mass massively been. yeah i think you know, in the past i've just kind of almost just kind of pushed it away and, and not really opened up my mind to you know accepting that and now i have you know it will just makes an incredible amount of sense <laughs> it's like what was i kind of thinking before um, but yeah, the, that transition it is certainly um, an, an ongoing. Well, it's a work in progress for yeah. sure. Uh, he is a work in progress. I'm, work in pro I'm, I'm wondering. No means finished article just yet. Huh? Just yet, not the finished article just yet. Haven't finished. I'm not the finished article. Not the yet. finished article. I can't even understand my own son because of his Yorkshire dialect. So I can only just imagine in America if you can understand a word that he's saying. When Bob and I decided to stay in Yorkshire, I said, you know, our kids are going to sound this way because he had a lovely American accent until he was two and then he started school. So sometimes I'm thinking, what? What are you saying? I do have to apologize for my Yorkshire accent. <laughs> Well, he's from Yorkshire, born and bred. So um, anyway, I just thought you'd like, I keep looking down at the screen because I'm looking at you, but yeah. put the camera. So uh, I just thought you'd all really like to meet Forrest and uh, Forrest Hamilton, because he has Bobby Bobby's surname, although he's got my name as his middle name. I didn't want to double barrel at all, because then that would have been a lot. But so, um, because he's your other admin and he's available for you. So, yeah. and if you're thinking about going to Peru, if it's not in May, if it's in the future, well, let me know because we're going to be taking some awesome trips yeah, there. Is Life changing of, stuff. Yeah, it is one of the most unbelievable countries. People that are just like the nicest people like you can possibly imagine. Um, yeah, it certainly is. It's a life changing place. So yeah. Well, thank I you. Thank, thank you, Forrest, for talking with me tonight and coming Pleasure. online and talking to our tribe, our tribe. <laughs> and I'm so pleased to be able to have him here with me and to meet all of you officially. And I love you all. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Remember, if you want to work with me, please private message me. And let's see if we can get you further along on your path. Lots of love to you. Lots of love. Pleasure to meet Bye. you all. <laughs>